Shalom, shalom, shalom alaikum, my dear listeners and dear viewers, and welcome once again to the Rema day by day. We have begun in the series that we are looking at the name or the word touch. And the first time we looked at the touch that healeth, we looked at another one yesterday at the touch that kills. And today we want to go to another one and look at the touch that empowers. We mentioned earlier on uh, that uh, the word touch has several meanings. And we say that we are going to look in this particular series at every meaning of that word touch. And I want to welcome you if you've not been with us. We have been doing a series of the word touch every day. And today, this is the third segment of the word touch. The Bible records in the book of Jeremiah that uh, Yahweh approached a man called Jeremiah and he appointed him for a specific role. But when he came to call him, Jeremiah gives excuses in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. He said that, Behold, I am a child and I cannot be able to do what you are telling me. But Yahweh told him that I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb and I appointed you to be a prophet to the nation. But Jeremiah also continued and giving excuses. But I cannot talk. And Yahweh came to him and said, No, I am the one who empowers you. The word that we are going to look today is in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 9. You can be able to read the book of Jeremiah by your own. But today, let's focus in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 9. And this is what the Bible says. Then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahweh said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Let me repeat once again. Then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahweh said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. And the last thing, Father, we bless you and we worship you today. We come before you and Father, we ask for your spirit to interpret the scripture for us. May you give us understanding that we may be able to understand what you want to speak unto us this wonderful morning in the mighty name of Asher the Messiah. I commit myself before you so that Father you can use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your children. In Yahshua's name we pray and give thanks. Hallelujah. We are speaking about the touch that empowers. The name Jeremiah means that Yahweh exalts, or the Yahweh has selected, or the Yahweh has appointed, meaning that Jeremiah was appointed. And the Bible says that he was appointed before he was formed in his mother's womb. The appointment that Yahweh gives people even before they knew themselves. There are some empowerment that you are given at birth. And that one, no one can fight it. We are the ones who degrade ourselves. We are the ones who do not realize. But Yahweh is saying that before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. No matter what reason you are going to raise against working for Yahweh, they will not hold water. Because Yahweh already empowered you. Now, Jeremiah was already exalted, or he was appointed to be a prophet to the nation. But when Yahweh comes to him and tells him of his assignment, he is very quick to say, no, I am not ready. And for your information, I haven't read in the Bible where someone was appointed, or Yahweh approached him for a specific assignment, and they were ready to take the job. Should I surprise you? Even Yeshua, our Mashiach, our Savior, he wasn't ready to die. But the fact that he was to die, and that is the reason why he came, he prayed to the Father and said that, Daddy, if it is your will, let this cup go away from my presence. But let your will be done. Let me say this today. When you see a preacher preaching, it is not because the preacher has appointed himself. It is because that preacher was appointed before. When you see a teacher teaching, and 
the teacher is teaching so well that you are able to understand. It is not because they have learned or it is not because they went to school. It is not because they have very good speech or etiquette. No, it is because they have been empowered. Every time you see it under that servant of Yahweh, who feeds you so well, I want to tell you that they are operating from another power because they have been touched by a touch that empowers. Many of us, we joke with these people. We are joking with them because we don't know who empowers them. You joke with a prophet because you don't know who empowers that particular man or woman. But if you knew that this man or this woman was empowered before he or she was born, you won't dare touch the anointed ones of Yah. Today, in series number three, we are speaking about the touch that empowers. I want to speak to the servants as well. Those people who have been entrusted with people's souls. You are an apostle. You are a prophet. You are an evangelist. You are a pastor or a shepherd. And you are a teacher. Yahweh has entrusted you with that grace. You need to perform its function. You need to do what you are called to do. Because you never called yourself to do it. I've heard of people bragging, you know, Yahweh speaks to me, Yahweh uses me. No. You need to know if Yahweh will draws the finger that touched your mouth, that touched your heart, then your presence becomes useless. You don't brag because you preach so well. You don't brag because you teach so well. You don't brag because you prophesy and things come to pass. No. You humble yourself before the Heavenly Father who has empowered you because the same way he has empowered you he can empower another person. The same way you have been exalted, he can exalt another person. The Bible says that Yahweh exalts the humble and he demotes the proud. If there is something that has brought down anointed servants of Yahweh, it is proud. If there is something that has brought down anointed ministers, gospel singers that we knew, it is proud. It is when you forget that actually what you are doing, you have been given a grace to operate. And the one who gave you that grace can take it away at will at any given time without your consultation. Because Jeremiah was not requested to prophesy. There was no letter of request to him that Jeremiah, would you please like to prophesy to my people? No. The Bible says clearly and emphasizes that then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched Jeremiah's mouth. And he said to him, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. I want to speak to those people who are listening to me today. That every time a servant of Yahweh is speaking, those are not their words. Every time you sit under an anointed person, they do not speak their own words. Those words have been put in their mouths. They are just used as a vessel. And that's what I said when I began this broadcast today. That I want Yahweh to use me as a vessel. So that I do not brag. So that I do not exalt myself. I do not take the glory. The glory goes back to the one that has empowered me. So I'm just like a vessel. Trees do not eat their own fruits. Rivers will drink their own waters. I've never seen a tub that consumes the water that comes through it. Those are just vessels that are used by Heavenly Father. And today, I am speaking to you 
that Yah can empower you to perform that thing, the very thing that has been very hard to do, that very thing that you have tried for centuries and it has not worked. If He empowers you today by His touch, you will be able to do it. Glory unto Yahweh. We are speaking about the touch that empowers. I want to bless Yahweh because today He is still empowering people by His touch. He is still raising some apostles, even in this dispensation. He is still raising pastors, even during this corona period. He is still raising preachers who are going to preach nothing but the truth. I thank Yahweh for this platform in Messianic Voice TV which has given me an opportunity because potential without opportunity is useless and every time i come to this particular studio i do not claim autonomy of the word that i'm speaking because i have been empowered to give you the word it is not mine i do not own it in fact let me surprise you i don't know where it came from just like Jeremiah, we are all empowered by one creator. He's the one that created, he's the one that appoints, and he is the one that demotes. Let me surprise you. The same way he appoints is the same way he can demote. If he never consulted you during appointment, he will never consult you during your demotion. But one thing is so sure. That once Yahweh has anointed you an individual and you fail not to honor him, you fail to use your anointing to glorify him. He does not talk, he does not take the anointing away. No, he just raises another man and anoints that particular person to do the very job that you have not been doing, to perform the very function that you stopped to function. And now let me speak to our people, those who are watching. If there is anything that you desire, ask him that empowers. If there is something that you are eagerly looking for, ask him that empowers. He empowers every day. He empowers every day. And his stock or his store never runs out of stock. He will always empower in the morning, at the noon, and even in the evening. He's never tired. And that is the rema day by day. Father, we bless you and we worship you. We exalt you and magnify your holy name. Thank you, Father, for speaking your word unto us. I pray everlasting, Father. May you touch your children this wonderful morning. The touch of empowerment. Give them grace to perform that very thing that they have not been able to do it. We don't do it because of our own strength. We don't do it because of our own power. We don't do it because of our own education. It is not because we have been trained. Training is good, but Father is supposed to perfect the very gift that you have put in your children. You are the one that puts a gift in men so that they can glorify your holy name. May you allow us everlasting Father to perform that very thing that you've called us to perform. That most of us have been proud. We have exalted ourselves instead of exalting you. We have taken your glory to be ours instead of giving it back to you. We repent of that sin. Where my Redeemer Father, we took what was yours and we possessed it. And today, everlasting Father, we give glory back to you. Thank you for the touch of empowerment. Thank you, everlasting Father, for empowering your children. As we continue to minister to your children, everlasting Father, may you bless them, may you exalt them, may you take them from one glory to the other. We bless you and we worship you. In Yahshua's holy name we pray and give thanks. Thank you, our dear viewers, and continue watching Messianic Voice TV. That was session number three, the touch that empowers. And this is the Rema day by day. Be blessed and bye-bye. Shalom.